we begin with Tiffany Teasley live outside Boehner's Westchester office where hundreds of angry protesters turned out. And Tiffany, we hear it got a little bit heated. It did. It got very heated as protesters relentlessly knocked on the front door. Here outside Speaker Boehner's office, they say in the name of jobs. But once they couldn't get in, it added even more fuel to their fire. Protesters from John Boehner's own district weren't hesitant about taking their message of job creation straight to the door of the Speaker's office. After a couple of knocks, it became clear they weren't getting in. But these protesters were persistent. You're serious, they want the door? As pressure from protesters began to build, one woman even kicked the door. Kick it down! Unfortunately, the door was locked on us. We didn't, we didn't even get an opportunity to talk to his staff. We're very disappointed. Once they learned the speaker wasn't in his office, but rather near Columbus, they set out to follow him there. For anyone who wants to come for a little car ride, let's go visit him. So we're going to actually go up to where we believe he's taking part in a golf outing up in Dublin and have a word with him there. More than 100 protesters, including local union members and teachers, rallied outside the speaker's office, urging him to create jobs instead of making cuts. God, Painter's got to go. The attack on workers, families, children, sick people, he's got to stop. What they call an assault on the American dream. I want him to know that he has to work for everyone, not only just the rich. These workers also say the recent debt deal did nothing to create jobs and worry it opens the door for cuts to vital programs like Medicaid down the line. If we continue on the present course, we're not going to get out of the hole. And in a response to the doors being locked, the Speaker's office released this statement saying, while we respect their right to assemble and voice their opinions, Congressman Boehner's staff has a responsibility to serve the constituents of the 8th District. And in order to do that, we must have a workable office space. And this protest this morning was organized by the group MoveOn.org. Reporting live from Westchester in Butler County, Tiffany Teasley, Fox 19 News. Boehner's office also released a statement about the state of unemployment in Ohio, quote, providing economic certainty and creating an environment in which business can invest and jobs can flourish remains Speaker Boehner's number one focus. House Republicans will continue to work with leaders of both parties to reduce spending, boost confidence, and give Ohio small businesses the stability they need to create jobs.